This is Talk Gamer 007 here, and we have a big storm coming. Don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and let's get started. A new Nintendo Direct presentation was announced today, and it will be coming on September 13th. Nintendo has announced we'll be hearing about what's coming to the Nintendo Switch and the 3DS over the next few months, including new details about Super Mario Odyssey. The presentation will be held at the following times, 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 p.m. in the UK, 12 a.m. in Europe, or you could say September 14th is gonna happen. If you're wondering how long is the Nintendo Direct, it is going to be 45 minutes long for the United States and Europe. And the Japanese Direct is 50 minutes long. So let's get on with the predictions. I really believe that they're going to talk about Metroid Samus Return just before one last time, one last marketing push before its release date. And I think they're gonna do it for Pokemon Tournament DX as well. But I believe it's not gonna be no more than two minutes long for each of them, each of their trailers. I also believe no matter what, it's gonna be a new story trailer for Zilla Bay Chronicles 2, showing more of the worlds, other parts of the environment, and it's gonna be showing the final build. That means we might see the final graphics, the final polish that we wanted. Make Xenoblade Chronicles 2 900p, 30 frames per second, because I believe it's reasonable because Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild have that exact frame rate and resolution, so Xenoblade Chronicles 2 deserve that treatment as well. So, and obviously, release dates for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We all know it's gonna be in winter 2017 is the official placement for it. So I would love if they not gonna be uh, winter 2017 would be December after December 21st and I hope it's not after December 21st um, I hope it's a little bit earlier when they say December uh, when they say winter I hope it's early December um, I would love it to release before Christmas I would even love it if they release it after like just after Pokemon Sun and uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon so I even expect a new trailer for Skyrim, and I 100% expect a new Fallout 4 port that might be coming this winter after the release date of Skyrim because it's been hinted. We had leaks about Fallout 4 coming to the Nintendo Switch. Maybe Bethesda thinks that it is a worthy investment of putting Fallout 4 on the Nintendo Switch. Maybe they noticed that Skyrim is getting a lot of praise for the Nintendo Switch and a lot of people might buy it so they're like oh well we might better off ports Fallout 4 for the Nintendo Switch as well well that's my opinion I 100% expect a release date and a new trailer for Rocket League and I expect the trailer to show more customizable items not only metrics like battle car like mini battle car and Mario and Luigi maybe a Wario um, battle car, maybe a Waluigi, maybe a Daisy. We need one. We need more battle cars in Rocket League to make it more like an exclusive Nintendo-ish game. Like we need to add some more Nintendo flavor. Maybe a, a, a like a Mario-shaped ball. I don't know. They could do things. I expect something, something that Nintendo Switch version will have, and obviously a release date. I don't know. We'll figure this out and. Soon enough, I hope it's gonna be there. It's obviously gonna come out this year, like they said. They said fall 2017, so fall 2017 is coming up. It's even possible. Look at this. Um, it's even possible that Payday 2. Remember that it was announced in the first Nintendo Directs for the Switch. That that's coming on the Nintendo Switch in fall. Payday 2 could be released and release, and it should show a release date at this time. That what I believe. I also believe it's gonna show a new trailer for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And I believe it's gonna be like maybe showing some new forms that we not see before in Pokemon Ultra and Pokemon Sun and Moon. And maybe some I believe it's gonna reveal some new Pokemon. I I don't think they're gonna do that in mid-generation push like everyone think it is. But I have a feeling that they have some type of secret 
some maybe gonna bring back Pokemon fusions from Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. It's gonna have some type of secret from Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that it might reveal in this Pokemon Direct. And I almost forgot, like really, I really almost forgot about Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, the remake for the 3DS. I expect a trailer for that and showing like the new minion mode and trying to make people more interested in a in a remake of one of the best Mario and Luigi games. Probably the first Mar it is the first one and the it's is the best one. The first one is the best one. I don't think it's any more of any other Mario and Luigi games that ever pass Superstar Saga. So this might be a great remake. I'm not necessarily interested in, in it because it's on the 3DS but number one I expect people to buy this remake that never that love Mario and Luigi from the Dream Team and all that other ones to buy and never play Superstar Saga. So we will know, we find out when the sales come out, but let's move, we're off track. But no matter what, they're gonna be talking about Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC 2 and the story DLC and maybe that new dungeon they're talking about, that story dungeon and more more uh, cutscenes and things to sweeten up the experience for people to buy the DLC season pass uh, for Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I also believe they're gonna show Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle DLC 1, uh, the first DLC. So I think the first DLC come with new weapons and stuff. Uh, I think a new stage. I might be wrong. I don't remember what it come with. I didn't buy the season pass. So I think it comes with different stuff. I think that the second DLC come with like a new uh, story and stuff, new parts of the map and stuff. I don't necessarily know, but. I believe that it's gonna show more of the Mario Rabbit's uh, DLC 1. Also, because they already confirmed Super Mario Odyssey coming to this re this new Nintendo Direct, I expect they're gonna be a story trailer. Yeah, it's weird to say story, right, for a Mario game, but I expect it to be a story trailer. I believe that Super Mario Odyssey might have one of the best Mario stories other than the RPG games to touch a 3d mario uh maybe he's gonna be like more like maybe say it's gonna be more like mario galaxy like mario galaxy optional stories but i think it's gonna be more intimated um and i think it's gonna be a a story trailer and telling you why to play this game and obviously i believe it's gonna be a gameplay demonstration for like 15 minutes of this 15 12 minutes maybe ish of super mario odyssey showing this so now let's move on to the crazy ideas that I don't even think it's gonna happen but I hope it happens and this will be the best direct ever number one Pikmin 4 that was announced two years ago I get I think uh, it was at, announced at E3 with Miyamoto as part of an interview so I expect maybe a hope for Pikmin 3 um, not Pikmin 3, <laughs> that came out a long time ago, Pikmin 4, um, and this is the dream, this is the, this would just make me die on it, like, when I'm watching it, it would make me die, Super, Super, I said Super Mario, Super Smash Bros. DX, yeah, Deluxe Edition for the Nintendo Switch, but a man could dream, like, I would hope that they have all that, like, Shovel Knight come to the, come to the first indie game maybe you could get some sore action for kid of heart maybe you could put rex from from xenoblade chronicles 2 get that extra marketing push for xenoblade chronicles like shulk a lot of people found out about shulk and then they they played the, the original xenoblade chronicles after that and then they bought xenoblade chronicles x because of that i believe it's gonna be something similar but let's continue with my next crazy prediction that most likely will never happen. A new F Zero game. Yes, a new F Zero game. It's been so long and I expected that. I expect a F Zero game sometime in the Switch lifetime. And you know what? Let's sweeten up the thing with another Kid Icarus game because Kid Icarus Uprising was an amazing game. So I would love if they have that as well. As well. But I, I this is things that I wish, but I don't think it ever gonna happen. But, well, we digress. Maybe one of these games that I predict, or fans are predicting. Well, well, I'm gonna predict another one. Another one that it will maybe never happen. Mother 3 uh, HD Remake? Blow. 
blow your mind right there mother three everyone maybe an actual mother four but i doubt that's ever happening uh maybe virtual console mother three coming to virtual console uh, it's a lot of things that could happen maybe uh maybe maybe in the show gamecube virtual console maybe it's a little bit too soon i don't know we don't know and i believe that they could reveal more third-party games as well it's gonna be surprising what they reveal but i think it can reveal something huge like maybe maybe that red dead redemption is coming on the switch maybe red dead redemption port coming from rockstar we don't know this i would love if they have this amazing third-party game that no one expected and it released on the nintendo switch announced for the nintendo switch so that's all my uh, uh predictions for the nintendo direct that's coming out in september 13th so yes it's about time to end my video if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like videos like this one to help expand my channel and share the video if you think you can inform someone else comment below about your opinion about the nintendo direct coming this september 13th so this is stock gamer 007 and i see you in the next one peace <laughs>